Is Brad here today? Are you expecting to play well? Uh, he was not here today. Um, and obviously, we know that the situation, understand where he is. Uh, obviously, our thoughts and prayers are with him and his family. You know, because I understand the, the gravity of the situation is very difficult to uh, process. Uh, he will not play tomorrow. So, uh, you know, we've been in this situation before. And, you know, obviously, our, we want to make sure that uh, he knows that we're, we're thinking about him and we're, we're lifting him and his family up in prayer. But uh, we still have a job to do. And uh, I think we'll be all right. Was everyone else uh, available today? Or did they leave today? Uh, yes. What adjustments did you have to make? Not have to pray, obviously, the patient went out, but obviously, he's such an important opponent as a leader on the board. Sure. Uh, well, I think the biggest thing is the, we rely on him to, you know, kind of bail us out at times. And we have guys who can score the ball, but uh, we have to get back to, you know, making sure we're moving the chair and the ball, get that body and ball movement. Um, so I think, you know, you get defenses shifting second, third side. It really opens things up for us. The game comes easier. When we get static, we fall into those no-pass possessions. That's where we become easier to guard. Was Montrez here? I didn't see that. He, he had a uh, uh, migraine this morning, oh. and he, he notified us and uh, did not participate in the basketball part of practice. And um, you guys are, are number one in the league in efficiency on cuts. So we need to be cutting more. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Has that been a, a big point of emphasis? And just what makes you guys so good in that regard? Just the spacing dynamic. I mean, it, it, we kind of hammer that away, and I think it's still something we have to chip away at. Um, at times, we we do stand and become easier to guard. We guard ourselves. Uh, so the spacing, with the, the amount of shooting we can put on the floor, the more we can get to our spots, open up the floor, uh, cut and move, that really helps those driving lanes. And once we hit the paint and, and kick out, it's uh, it's been good for us. And we've asked you a lot about that. The other night, it seemed like a lot of guys weren't shooting a lot of them. But Trez got going for a half. Kuz got going in the second half. Um, is it kind of a – is the depth to the point where you just need kind of like a handful of guys to get going? And you have to go somewhere? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think we've talked about that being a, a huge asset for us, that it's not all on one guy, and nor should it be. Now, that guy's going to have the gravity of attention because of his skill set. But the fact that we've got multiple guys who at any moment can step up and make plays gives you a lot of options, gives you a lot of comfort knowing, you know, even when a guy doesn't have a game, shots aren't falling. Um, somebody at some point can kind of get us going in the right direction. Wes, knowing you like I know you for 100 years, it seems like, I know that you don't believe in the concept of a trap game. Because you know it's in, it's an 82 game schedule. You have um, the approach of one game at a time. But Orlando is the type of team that they are young, they are talented. What are your concerns about this game? Well, they're hungry and they're they're playing hard. I mean, it's it's not you know with, with any team, you, you got to have a healthy respect for your opponent uh, and understand what you're walking into. Um, obviously, we're down a few bodies, so. That's of concern, but that's about us. Um, and I think if we continue to just, you know, how, how are we approaching this game? Um, where, where are we mentally? And if, if we're in the right place, you know, physically, mentally, then I think we'll be fine. Yeah. What do you think the last game against Cleveland in a game that way, winning in that fashion, has done for your team? Uh, you know, I said it the other night. I think it's a character win. You know, those type games where, you know, you don't play your best ball. It's, it's not going your way. Uh, you had those lulls throughout the, you know, especially in the third quarter. Um, we got down early in the fourth. And, you know, I think at the last six minutes, six plus, we outscored the 19 to seven. So we found a way late to, to make plays on both sides of the ball, which is, which is great. But we just kept plugging away. And I think that's got to be our mindset. Even when it's not going well, just keep, stay the course. And, you know, eventually things will turn. Anything new about the uh, he did a little bit more shooting yesterday. Uh, he shot it as well this morning. Uh, so he's moving better. Uh, but I still believe he's, you know, at best a week away. All right, Coach, we'll head over to Zoom. Take a question from Neil. Hey, Coach, it, it's kind of odd to have 
you know, a five game stretch in the season or five day stretch in the season where you only have one game. Have you guys been able to use this as time to implement more of your offensive and defensive playbook? And either way, where would you say percentage wise you are in terms of, you know, fully integrating what you want to integrate? Uh, yes and no. I mean, I think you, you also have to prioritize uh, the rest because uh, understanding what we came out of and the stretch we're about to go into. So, you know, you would think those, those extra days are, hey, we got to hammer some things home. Well, you can watch a lot of film. We can walk through some things, um, you know, tr try to implement things as we go. But just to be on our feet a lot, I think, uh, will put us at a deficit. Uh, second part of that question, I, I think we're about uh, 60%, you know, on, on both ends as far as uh, the checklist items. But uh, it'll continue to expand, you know, as, as we go. Because, you know, you, as we move pieces around, I think we're, we're seeing what guys are capable of. And, you know, you add different, you know, components. Thanks, Coach. Christos. Hello, Coach. How are you? Good. Great. Uh, I would like to ask you, what was the biggest takeaway of the, the game against the Cavaliers, uh, speaking about your defensive effort? I thought the defense was solid. Um, you know, we, we were in uh, drop coverage quite a bit throughout the night. Um, and at times, it was good for us. At times, you know, uh, we had to make adjustments. Um, I thought the, uh, the overall focus and energy was, was, was positive. Uh, the physicality was good. Um, and then, you know, the, the rebounding, which was a priority for us, was overall pretty good. So um, I was pretty satisfied where, with what we did defensively. Obviously, we didn't do it well enough for 48 minutes, but for the most part, especially late in the game, um, I was very satisfied. And about the character of your team, did you expect to, when the season started uh, to have eight wins, three losses in uh, the first games, the first 11 games of the season? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Speaking about your character as a team, did you expect uh, from the beginning of the season to have eight wins and three losses uh, in the first 11 games? Uh, I didn't really think about a, a number, to be honest with you. Uh, the priority for us was, you know, make sure we're, we're building habits, but also, um, you know, are we competitive? Are we playing the right way? Are we playing for each other? And, you know, if I think if you do those three things, more often than not, you're going to have wins. I didn't come into it and say, hey, we're going to be, you know, eight and three or whatever after X number of, of, of games. Uh, I just like the way we've played. Um, and, you know, the ball's bounced in our favor thus far. Uh, so it, it's a positive. But continuing to build, continue to get better, I don't think we can ever get you know, complacent and think we're good. Uh, we have to just continue to find ways to uh, prioritize what's important and then uh, make sure we're getting better every day. I think we've been there before. You know, of course, uh... He's a best player, and uh, it's always tough when he's out. Um, but we have guys that can that can play. We can have guys that are gonna step up and uh, you know make plays for us. But I, I think the the main thing is just keep playing the right way, uh, with or without Brad or other players that might we might be missing. We just have to keep keep doing what we're doing, playing hard defense, um, moving the ball, sharing the ball, and and you know playing good basketball. I'm pretty sure other guys are gonna step step up. When it comes to the depth that you guys have, obviously it seems like it's been a plus. And the other night, uh, a lot of guys were shooting well, but you had Trez go off in the first half and Tweet go off in the second half. When there's so many players that you kind of only need a few to, to shoot well on a given night, what does that do to a, a player on the team? Does it take any pressure off? I mean, for sure. Uh, I think, to your point, I think uh, the main thing is our defense, you know, because if your defense is holding them up, um, like we want to, I think we don't need as many guys going off and, and scoring, you know. Uh, so I think that's been that's been huge. That's been the the, the best part for us. Uh, we definitely got depth, and you know, if we keep playing the right way, uh, the ball gonna find open guys, and uh, they're gonna make play for us. Uh, the other day was Trez and and Kuz. Uh, other days has been Spencer, Brad. You know, uh, other guys that have been. Uh, good for us and I think that's the strength of this, that team you know I think when guys come other teams come play us they don't know I mean it's not like they're sh shutting one one guy off and and we're gonna you know they're gonna win the game we have other guys that can score they can make plays and uh, every game has been has been different. Do you, do you want to know 
Um, but I'm sure, you know, sometimes you get on the court and maybe not everyone is a really good defender. What's it like being in the lineup now where, you know, you guys can have all five players who are really good defensive players? I mean, it's good, you know, having guys that play defense, that care, that has proud on not letting uh, your guy score, uh, it's huge. You know, I think it's, um, and that's the mentality we, we have. Uh, I'm not going to say we have the best defense or we play defense great all the time, but we care all the time. And uh, when sometimes we miss a coverage or we miss a help, we know that guy's going to be uh, there and um, going to give 100% to, to cover that, that mistake, you know. So um, it is it is it is good to play with guys that care on defense and, and play hard. I think that's the, the biggest thing. Does it change your responsibilities at all? I mean, you know, if the guy to the left of you and the right of you are facing the defender, can you uh, rest as much as you like? Can you defend differently? Can you be more like that? Um, I think it's it's more not having to help as much. You know, if you know, because sometimes you're playing and a guy goes off, you know, and you feel like you're not guarding him, but you feel like you need to help, you need to be there, and then that's when they start moving the ball, and then your guys start getting easy shots. Uh, so I think that's the only thing I think that changed for me, um, but but definitely give us more confidence to to press the ball and to like be up on the pick and rolls and knowing that we're gonna have help on the on the backside and knowing we're gonna have Trey's a gaff and uh, even Kuz protecting the rim, uh, it give us confidence to you know play play aggressive on defense and and not be worried about getting easy easy baskets. And you guys are number one in efficiency on cut plays on offense. Um, what, what do you think? I know Coach said that means you guys should be cut more. <laughs> but uh, what is that? Why do you think you guys are so good at it? What's been the key? I think it's something we've been working a lot of spacing, you know, uh, spacing and knowing when to cut. Uh, we know the way our team plays and having Brad on, on, on the court, it brings a lot of attention on, on him. You know, teams are always. Uh, doubling him and, and having two guys on him and we got to find the open space and usually it's a, it's a cut and uh, finding the right cut and, and also sharing the ball, you know, it don't matter if you cut, but you, you don't get the ball, the cut don't do anything. So um, I think it's, it's just uh, the way we play, but it's definitely been something uh, that we are working on and having guys cutting from the weak side and sometimes it's the cut, sometimes it's the, uh, uh, we get a help on the cut and it's a corner three uh, I think Kuzma got a couple last game, you know, and uh, I think it's just playing, uh, making the right play and playing good basketball. All right, well, let's switch over to Zoom for some questions. We'll start with uh, Neil. Hey, how well, one thing I wanted to ask you about from the Cleveland game, you, you forced that one jump ball with Jared Allen, you know, very much seemingly, you know, very big di differential in size. I guess, where does that mentality come from for you to just, you know, always scrap and fight no matter, you know, how difficult the challenge may pose? Um, I think it's just uh, playing hard defense. You know, uh, I think if I remember well, the way that happened, I was um, I was on the help side and they throw a, a, a lob for him. I kind of got into his body and end up uh, having the jump ball. <laughs> I didn't have much to, to do on the jump ball. You know, I'd, if I, I don't think I even jumped, but... Um, I'm sure that I made the right play and, you know, not letting him score easy ba basket was, uh, was a good play for us. And it happened. He, he didn't even win the tip. Clearly you guys got the turnover separately. And, you know, I know you guys haven't had a super long road trip so far, but just compared to last season, is it easier for you guys to hang out as a team with hopefully less restrictions on what you guys are able to do so far early in the season? Sorry. I, I... I was doing the mic. I, I, I didn't pay attention to your question. No worries. Have you guys been able to do anything on the road as a team to try and build that com camaraderie that a lot of you guys have been talking about? Uh, yeah, we've done a couple uh, dinners, uh, most at the beginning of the season. Uh, I think once we start traveling and uh, playing that many games, uh, guys get tired and sometimes, you know, they just want to chill in the room and uh and not go anywhere, but uh, but we did a couple of times, you know, uh, I think it's it's nice being able to go out to dinner and uh, know each other better uh, off the court and, and um, you know, get that, um, that connection off court too. Thanks, Howell. Yeah. Christos. Hey, Raul, how are you? Good, how are you? 
I'm fine, thank you. Raul, how from your perspective, how good are the Wizards this season? Um, I think we're pretty good. Any follow-up there, Christos? I'm not either, either. And also, you have a lot of success uh, this season, a lot of games. You hear me? Yeah, what was your second Yeah, uh, you have a lot of success uh, during the, the first games of the season about uh, the way that you close the, the close games. How could you explain that? Um, I think it's just having great, you know, uh, there's been a couple games where we're, we're down most of the game and we just uh, stick to it. Um, like we, like I was saying before, we have depth, so we have guys that can step up and, uh, you know, make plays for us uh, in the end of the game. Um, and it's not only Brett. You know already about Brett. He's a he's a clutch player. He will always make plays. But um, this year, he's making play plays for other guys too. You know, uh, a couple of games ago, uh, he kicked out for Spencer for a three. The last game for Kuzma. Um, I mean, the game against Indiana, Spencer got uh, uh, made some huge plays at the end. So, you know, just having guys that can do that, uh, not only one, but having multiple guys that can do that, it's huge. And uh, at the end of the game, it's it's hard for the other team, you know, who they're going to guard and, and uh, uh, having grit and staying focused and staying aggressive to the end of the game. I think that's been the, the key for those close games uh, at the end.